What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Sienna. Last episode, we began our adventure here in the region whose name I still don't know. But uh, today, we're going to be continuing with that and heading back into this Devon Corporation building, which I confuse with Silco all the time. But yeah, um, this nice man, Steven, which is confirmed now because this is a Devon Corporation building. This is definitely Steven from the old games. He's now an old man. So, you know, Pokemon Sienna takes place in the future. But he was looking for his letter, and the letter is actually right there on the desk. Um, you know, I've played the game previously, so I knew where the letter was, but otherwise, you would just have to spend, like, a bunch of time just pressing the A button everywhere in order to find it, but, uh, yeah. Luckily, I knew where it is, and now, thanks to me, you guys know where it is, so everyone's happy. And now that we got that letter, we're supposed to deliver it to Professor Marsh back in the beginning town, uh, where we got started with everything that's been going on so far. So I guess we'll be heading back there. Um, thank you to all of you that left the constructive criticism in the comments telling me what you liked and what you didn't like about the first episode. So that way, I can make this episode a lot better and fit whatever you guys didn't like and try to have it in this one. Um, the main thing that you guys wanted to see was me including the battles. Um, the wild Pokemon battles, I really don't think I would include um, until I get repels because once I do get repels, there's not going to be any wild battles anyway, so I'm just not going to include those. But trainer battles, I guess I'll do that for you guys. Um, I'm just going to speed them up, and maybe if you guys don't like that, then once again, leave it in the comments, and I'll be very thankful for that. But as soon as you give this guy the letter, he's going to give you an item in return, and that's going to be the Pokenav. Um, the Pokenav is a little different in this game than it is in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, as you can see. It's right there, but when you use it, it just takes you back to the title screen, or the menu screen. Pretty much Pokemon hacks in general are all harder than the mainstream games, like Pokemon, I've played a bunch of Pokemon hacks before. The ones that usually are like X versions, like Region X and Shiny Gold X, are just harder, even harder versions of hacks that were already hard enough. But um, most hacks tend to be, you know, more challenging than normal games. They try to boost up the gym leader's levels a lot more, um, spread it out so that you, by the end, instead of getting like level 50-ish, you get around like level 70, if the hack is complete, that is. But, uh, you know, this one is actually pretty hard, and by the end of four gyms, I'll be around level 30-ish, I guess. But as soon as we come up here, we'll see that the Pokenav actually does work. Um, you can't call anyone yourself, but you can get called by people. Like Professor Marsh just called me to let me know that uh, he has some stuff for me to do in the Cobalt Forest, which is coming up ahead. But here we go up against the first trainer battle, which I'm his third opponent today. And this is what I'm talking about right here. I'm going to be speeding up the battles and including the original audio in the background. Um, like I said, if you guys don't like this method and just want me to do normal speed, though it would be a little painful for me, I guess it would benefit you guys and uh, you would like it better, so... You know, I'm willing to do that for you guys. Um, by the way, I'm kind of sorry about um, how this episode took so long to upload, but um, I've been pretty busy with real-life stuff going on and uh, whatnot, so... But I'll try to get um, more episodes up more frequently. D I'll definitely do that, but... Well, other than the IRL stuff, my internet has still been pretty glitchy, so I've been getting one of my friends to put the videos on the file front for me, and then I can um, put them on here, but... Yeah, anyway, you don't really have to worry about that. The point is, I'm going to be getting more episodes up more frequently in the future, I guess. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take on this guy now. He had a Raditz up first, which was pretty easy to take out. Next up is going to be his Ekans. Sorry about that. And at level 13, Jaws is finally going to learn uh, Water Gun. You monster. Yeah, if you guys didn't notice, I actually leveled up Totodile off-screen to level 11, I think it was. Obviously now, as you can see, he's level 13, but when the episode started, I got him off-screen trained to level 11. By the way, though, I'm not showing off these wild battles. Some of them I fight, some of them I don't. But if I do fight them, then I'll let you know. Like, right now, I just fought a, uh, Swablu, and I guess we'll test this guy's bugs out. Wonder what kind of bug Pokemon he's got. Oh, he's got a glue. That's not even a bug type. Great. Oh, crap, I think, yep, I have another potion left, that's kind of great, actually. Um, but this thing has cut, I guess that's not the greatest move, but he got a critical hit, and thankfully he used pound, because I think if he would have used cut, that might have killed me, but he used pound because he's a little dumb, um, in the head, I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and go into the Colt Forest, I said Cobalt earlier, but I guess it's Colt, and I'm gonna go heal up. 
So anyway, here we are in the Colt Forest. I went and healed up. As you can see, Jaws is now back to full HP and full PP on all his moves. I also got a bunch of items off screen. I bought 10 potions, 3 antidotes, and 3 paralyzed heals um, in the Pokemon Mart back in Nile City. And now that we're in the Colt Forest, this is actually where I'm going to be catching my next team member. So hopefully I'll be able to find him pretty soon. I'm just going to edit this and uh, find him. Speaking of which, you can apparently find wild Tricos here, which is uh, very rare because I've never been able to find one. But I guess that's worth mentioning if you guys want to get yourself a Trico. They're very rare, but they're apparently in here. So, you know, I guess that's worth mentioning. I'm not going to catch it or anything, so... You know, I guess I just wanted to say, and that's not my next team member, so let's keep looking around, and hopefully we shall find him. And finally, we find my next team member. Everyone, please welcome Famfy, as soon as we catch him, actually, because he's not technically part of the team until I catch him, so I guess um, I'll just be going for some scratches, because Famfy is ground type, and I believe a water gun at level 14 will take it out. Uh, I don't think it would actually, it would do about half damage I'm gonna guess, but I'm gonna go for uh, scratches and just keep it safe, you know. Um, one more scratch I believe should not take him out, so, especially with a growl now. Um, but yeah, I already have a nickname in mind for it and everything, so I guess we'll just go ahead and scratch it one more time, and then go for the Pokeball. Um, so yeah, like I showed off, you can find Wild Tricos in here, I guess that's pretty rare, I never knew that, um, until today, even though I've played the game a couple of times before, which is like two. But, I guess, yeah, a couple is too, so, makes sense. But, uh, here we go for the Pokeball, and hopefully I'll be able... Wow! I was about to say that hopefully I'll be able to catch it on the first try, and maybe third time will be the charm, maybe? Okay, that's one shake, two shake, three shake, and, everyone, we've caught ourselves our second team member, Fanfi. I guess we didn't really catch the first one, but this is our second team member, or my second team member, um, you guys can go ahead and use any of the Pokemon if you're playing along. Speaking of which, I'll talk about this in a second, but let's just go ahead and name it here. Um, our Fampy's nickname is going to be W. That was more of a male nickname, but I guess since we got female, can't really do anything about that. But uh, I guess I'll go ahead and use a potion on it. I have a rare candy, but I'm going to save that one for later. Maybe I won't even use rare candies and just be skillful like that. <clears throat> if that takes skill, I'm, I don't know. But let's put W up first, and I'm going to be using the switch out and in, or bait, and bait method, I guess, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and test out this Team Rocket Guys team. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to talk about earlier is that well, a friend of mine actually made a, very, a video for how you guys can download this game and patch it and everything so that it works with the um, Visual Boy Advance. Um, if you guys don't know, these games can only be played on the computer with an emulator. You can't really, unless you have like a special thing to put it on a cartridge, but otherwise... They can only be played on an emulator, so, you know, there's instructions on how to do that. Um, if it's allowed, then I guess the link will be in the description, because I was too lazy to make a tutorial myself. And, uh, thankfully my friend made one. Um, actually, it was coincidental. He didn't actually do it for me, but he just kind of made it because he did a Let's Play of the game himself a couple of, like, month, um, like a month ago? Two weeks ago, maybe? I don't exactly remember, but I know he did a walkthrough on how to get the game and patch it and everything for it to work, so... If you guys want to go ahead and find that, it's in the description. You can download it and play along um, if you like what you've seen so far. And as you can see, you can get like Trico and stuff, so you know. Um, yeah, we fought the first Team Rocket guy, now we're going to continue through the Cold Forest. Right after fighting that Clefairy, I'm actually just running away from it, but here's the next Team Rocket member. And he wants us to get out of this forest and back into the kitchen. Except we're not woman, but we kind of look like one because we've got long blue hair. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. Um, let's go ahead and use Water Gun on the Sand Shrew, take it out pretty easily. And uh, yeah, Team Rockets, if you guys haven't noticed, throughout the games, they usually have kind of the same Pokemon. <coughs> yeah, they, you know, they always have like Raditas and, you know, Coughings, um, Zubats. I was about to attack that thing, but no, I'm going to switch out once again. And great, I switch out right into an Absorb. That's kind of awesome, isn't it? Okay. Um, but yeah, in this game, however, they've got, like, a lot more creative stuff. I guess the answer is not that creative, but, you know, they've got Oddishes, and, uh, you'll see later on, they've got some pretty unique stuff compared to the other games, so, you know, that's one thing that I really like, because Team Rockets in other games really get annoying. Like, you know, the Pokemon Tower was, like, a really annoying thing to do. 
Sylphco, I would usually just skip a bunch of the trainers because they had like really low level weak Pokemon. They barely gave out any experience and it was just really, really annoying to do. So I, a lot of the time, found myself just skipping the whole Sylphco and uh, just training elsewhere because Team Rockets, they really had like really generic Pokemon that really didn't give out too much experience. Um, Ekka is one of them, but you know, <clears throat> it's okay for them to have one or two of the generic ones, but they've also got really creative stuff, like you saw earlier, or you will see later on. Um, but you know, Jaws is about to die, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and heal him up now, and then we'll proceed through the forest. And sorry that my voice, I'm kinda losing my voice, so, you know, maybe next episode I'll have my voice lost, hopefully not, but, uh, yeah, I really don't, I wouldn't enjoy that very much, but... Let's go through this grass, hopefully, yes, not running into any Pokemon, awesome. And go up against the next, uh, Team Rocket guy. I don't know what great Pokemon he's talking about, maybe we'll figure it out later on, but, um, I really, at the moment, I don't know and I don't remember from playing the original game, but we'll figure it out eventually. Let's just go ahead and take on this Clefairy, who uses Sing on me. I have Antidotes and Paralyzed Heals, but Sing, you need a Awakening to, you know, get away from that, I guess, but... Um, I don't have one of those at the moment, so we're just gonna have to wait for us to wake up normally. W is now level 10, so maybe he'll actually be able to take on this Sandshrew. Doesn't really have any great moves against it, just tackle. Um, but I guess we'll try to take- okay, never mind, he's got the defense curl up, so... It's just gonna be really annoying to do. It's not really gonna be hard, just annoying. And, um, it might involve some potions, which I don't want to waste right now, so... Just take it out with Jaws, it's a lot easier. Um, let's use another potion on Jaws. Thanks to an epic interruption, I have lost my trail of thought, so... I don't know, you can kind of search through trees here, maybe you'll find a berry. Not 100% sure, but, you know, maybe you'll find one, maybe you won't, I guess. But we'll fight this guy now. And, yeah, I really lost my trail of thought, because I... It was really long, it was... I don't know. Basically, I lost all uh, what I was doing in the game, so I guess we'll just fight this guy with a Machop, or Machop, however you pronounce it. I don't know, whatever floats your boat. But, we'll take him on, and Jubya will hopefully get another level up, but no, because we already finished the battle and he didn't get one, but... I don't know. Let's go through this other patch of grass and into this tree stump. See if there's anything in here. Nope, nothing inside. I don't know. Picture that guy just looking through a tree trunk branch thing. I don't know. But, you know, this guy's gonna have a Raticate. Uh, Raticate is, you know, an evolution Pokemon, so it's gonna do more damage than a normal, you know, Team Rocket Pokemon, but it's still level 12, so it's a lot lower than my Jaws, and I'll be able to take it out, hopefully, pretty easily. Water Guns. Water Guns. Yeah, I don't know why Water Guns just three little drops of water. In the anime, it looks more realistic because it's actually like a giant squirt, like a super soaker, but here it's just three drops of water. It doesn't seem like it would do much, but I guess it's just the animation. It actually is that big super soaker water thing. Um, the Zubat is pretty annoying with his Astonish flinching me, but other than that, um, just, you know, patience and you'll eventually take it out because it doesn't really do that much damage with, uh, Leech Life. Supersonic could be a little annoying because it, you know, makes you confused and whatever, but, um, not, you know, Zubats are easy to take out, basically. And that's what I'm talking about. Team Rockets in the other games have just a bunch of Zubats and Rattatas, and they're just really easy Pokemon to take out, but, you know, they're just, they don't give out enough experience, and there's a bunch of them, so it's just annoying. So here's, uh, Harry, and he's gonna heal up our Pokemon. So he's a nice guy. He's got a cool hat, too. I think I already mentioned that, but his hat is cool, that's the point. So, we must split, and I guess we'll catch up with him later on. But, coming up here is gonna be the boss of Team Rocket. Oh, you, you little twerp! You managed to get all the way to battling me, eh? Well, your journey ends here. 